Hey guys, welcome back to Auto Repair, guys. Thank you guys for watching and subscribing to the channel, guys. In today's video, we'll be, uh, we'll be guys working on a Chevy Cruze and we'll show you how to remove or how to replace front seat belt. We're going to demonstrate on the driver's side now, guys. Uh, passenger side, pretty much the procedure is very close, guys. We'll have the video on the channel if you want to check it out, but today we'll work on the driver's side. Stay with us, we'll show you how to get to it and how to remove it. Quick introduction, guys. We'll have more than 200 videos on Chevy Cruze and more than 200 videos on every car we get at the shop. Why? Because our mission is to save you guys as much money as we can. So please subscribe to the channel and like the video, guys. Hopefully you will find the information helpful. Now, if you want to save more money, check out the link in the description of the video below and you can buy parts for your car, guys, or tools for a really good price and fast shipping as well. So this is, guys, what we have here, 2015 Chevy Cruze. That's what we'll be working on but it should be the same for the whole generation from year 2008 when they started making in Europe and China I think to year 2016 so things that we'll need to do now guys okay first let me explain okay what we'll be doing here we have guys okay you can see we have that trim piece that we will need to actually uh, need to get that thing loose because this is the trim piece here that we will need to remove okay this trim piece that goes towards the seat belt but we cannot guys actually we cannot uh, remove it without getting that thing loose because actually this one goes underneath this one now here so what we need to do guys get a panel removal tool guys we'll have the links for uh, the tools that we use in the description of the video below go right here somewhere underneath okay so let's hold the camera like that perfect okay a little bit this way great now just grab it okay and pull it loose like that you don't need to remove the whole piece now what we'll do we're going to go to the back door open the back door and we need to do the same thing okay right here so we're going to situate the camera like that and i grab my trim removal piece to here go underneath okay and this thing is actually stuck i don't think it's ever been removed okay this one has only one clip after that i think so i'm gonna just go ahead and remove it if i can if not it's fine we'll just leave it like that because it's not in the way anyways so what we need to do next guys okay let me position the camera okay this way we're going i'm going to actually tilt the seat all the way to the front okay so you can see a little bit better now what we'll be doing so okay let's try like that now let me just situate the camera even maybe a little bit better perfect now i get the same clip removal too okay and i'm going to come towards the bottom okay let me find a place where i can pry that thing okay came loose on this side came loose here came loose right there so you can see gently it started coming loose guys okay you can see just like that now what i'm going to do here guys i'm going to go towards the front okay towards the front and we'll actually do the same thing now okay to this side right here so let's just hold the camera okay just just like that okay maybe even a little bit up so what i'm going to do i'll just pop that thing loose on this side okay it went underneath the other one now here on the bottom we have a couple clips and that trim piece should come out guys okay now i want to show you on that trim piece where you can expect to find guys okay all the clips so right here 
check it out now okay you have one two three clips guys three yellow clips you have two metal ones on the bottom and that piece came out now we can continue with the next scene so i forgot to mention guys before we start even working on the seat belts guys disconnect your car battery okay all the way guys disconnect it at least one hour before you remove the belt because it's part of the airbag system you don't want to blow things up because those things can kill you guys and your passengers as well so be careful now if you're not qualified and certified to work on airbags i will not recommend to replace your belt on your own guys and consider this entertaining video another how-to video we have the uh, battery disconnected at least for one hour maybe even two now and we can continue with the next step now right here guys okay we have okay one cover that we need to pop loose okay so let me pass the camera okay like that so i can grab it with two hands okay and show you how to get that guy loose okay perfect here guys we have a 10 millimeter okay 10 millimeter socket and we're going to remove one bolt perfect now we open it we remove that cap the bolt stays there what do we do next guys right here okay let me see if you can see good okay perfect we're going to come down and pull out so you can see we just came out like that now we'll go inside the car guys and i'll explain to you okay what else we need to do now i need to get get the clip removal too i need to grab some tools and i'll show you guys what we'll be doing so right here now okay i'm going to get somebody to sit on the passenger seat so uh, they can hold the camera okay and we can see a little bit better okay we need to okay yep let me move that thing perfect things that we need to do guys that trim need to come out how we do that we just grab the two panel removal tool there should be two clips okay that was a little bit of a force okay feed feed the seat belt through here that piece came out guys it has uh, one one clip two on top that slide so you need to lift it up when you install it when you pull it out when you take it apart you just pull that clip out and then you slide it down perfect now guys two that we will need okay let's focus the camera here we'll need guys a uh, torque socket okay torques pretty big big torques let me see what it is is it 50 here yep it's torques 50 guys okay just one second give me a second to focus here quick okay almost there you're just having a hard time perfect this is guys torques 50 star looking bit you can see just like that now we're going to go ahead okay we'll go ahead go ahead and remove that bolt here now okay okay right there and that bolt tends to be pretty tight guys because most likely it has thread locker why because it's uh, supposed to not get loose from vibration so you have to use thread locker okay if you hit thread locker only okay let me see if i can get the impact okay save us a little bit of time and remove that thing a little bit quicker hopefully perfect just lost our hearing but we're okay guys now this is the boat right here he did have blue thread locker now this thing has one clip that we'll need to remove okay in order to slide it out so this clip okay with the clip removal too i might need to get the metal ones let me see if i can go underneath ah i almost hit it okay it just flew away but it is here guys it flew in the car i didn't break it so now this thing we can lift it up and disconnect 
what we have to do next guys we have to disconnect the uh okay the wire for the seat belt okay right here that's where things get interesting that yellow piece needs to come up okay i will not recommend to use screwdrivers or anything like that because that's part of the airbag system and that has explosives but you need to grab it okay let me see if i can grab it with two fingers at the same time okay perfect it pulled out now do not twist no just pull straight out grab the connector pull it out disconnect it perfect guys what do we have left now the only thing left is one bolt on the bottom and that same bolt guys okay let's just hold the camera like that we can hold it here is now with a uh, with the same socket that we used before it is that reverse uh, excuse me it is that torx 50 guys so okay i got it loose let me see if i can lose the little impact battery is a little bit weak on it but it might do it so both came out and now guys we lift it up and what do we have our whole seat belt assembly guys came out of the car okay you can see it like that if you need to replace it guys that's how you do it you can see not very complicated at all hopefully guys the video will be helpful to any of you doing that job thank you for watching please subscribe to your channel for more videos and see you guys next time